And they're off. Racing away for the Betsy Handicap Stakes. The journey is five furlongs and fast away with Samba Lady under Kevin Stott. In the Violet Silks will lead. Black and Pink, they're racing in second. His girls want to have fun, so the outside of those two is bedazzling. They then follow close up to the inside by Confederation. Between horses in the orange is Selena Starr. At the back of the field is Soaring Eagle under Harry Burns. They're making their way up towards halfway to the inside. Samba Lady leads uh, by about a half a length only from Girls Want to Have Fun in second. Bedazzling chase along to the outside. Soaring Eagle tries to make ground deepest of all. Looking to pick her way through is Selena Star. Then Confederation as they race down, down inside the final furlong and a half. Girls Want to Have Fun has hit the lead now from the improving Confederation. Wider up Soaring Eagle trying to finish as they go towards the final half. It's Girls Want to Have Fun under Holly Doyle lead the way from Soaring Eagle then Confederation and it's Girls Want to Have Fun to win it. Girls Want to Have Fun from Soaring Eagle. Then came Selena Star, Confederation Samba Lady. Holly, well done. That looked fairly straightforward. You got a good clean break and straight to the front. Yeah, she um, she jumped smart. She knew her job. She's been running um, credits credits pretty well, really. Um, they they thought she she'd go close today. And to be honest, when you got to the top of the straight, she really found for you as well. Yeah, well, she gets six furlongs, and um, she's a real big stamp of a filly, and it was quite important to get her into a good rhythm and keep her, the motions going forward, um, knowing that she stays as six, and she hit the line relatively hard. She's a bit more experienced than your ride in the necks. What can you tell us about? Um, well, David said um, he hasn't you know, said a whole lot really, but um, obviously first day at school, so we'll just jump and get a nice position and see, see what's in the tank really um, by Harry's Angel. And she's quite stoutly bred, um, so we're hoping for a good run. Second day at school for Casa Luna a little bit later. I thought, didn't think that was a bad run in the circumstances last time against more experienced types. Yeah, definitely. I thought she ran a nice race. She just um, looked quite green under pressure, and I think there were two in front of her that looked um, pretty decent. So hopefully the form of that race will work out nicely, and um, she's stepping up to 10 furlongs today, and with the run under her belt, I'm hoping she can go close to. Best of luck and well done. Thank you.